you might think twice before your next trip to the beach. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 underwater facts that will make you never want to swim again. For this list, we're looking at all the freakiest facts about the world's bodies of water. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to check out the full song at the link below. Number 10. They're riddled with bacteria. Release the Kraken! Sea monsters are frightening, but far more dangerous are the things hiding in the water too small for the human eye to see. By just swimming in the shallows, you could contract potentially deadly pathogens, from cholera to Legionnaire's disease to flesh-eating bacterial infections in fresh water. As for what may have caused the high bacteria levels, experts say it's not known yet, but sometimes bacteria can come from wildlife, pets, soil, or even rotting vegetation. The good news is many of these conditions can be avoided by being careful not to swallow water and washing thoroughly in clean water after swimming. But seafood is also a common culprit behind food poisoning in salt water, which happens when it hasn't been cleaned and prepared properly. The specific thing you worry about with going in um, water is that if you have an open wound, it can get, this bacteria can get in the wound and actually cause very serious infection. So it can cause a lot of swelling and redness. And in fact, a lot of the tissue around there can actually die. Remember though, that while these microbes might be dangerous to humans, many are vital for the ecosystem. Number nine, we know hardly anything about it. Though it covers over 70% of the Earth's surface, the oceans are chronically unexplored. There are a few reasons why. For a start, people just aren't as excited about exploring the deep sea as they are about going to Mars, as interesting as all the ocean's strange inhabitants are. These twinkling lights in the darkness are produced by copepods. They probably flash like this to communicate with one another and confuse their predators. Secondly, there isn't the potential for profit like there is in space, which means it's not being funded as much as NASA or other space agencies are. We've mapped only 5% of the ocean, while we've already got significantly more detailed maps of the Moon and Mars. We've set a foundation that will serve as the basis for future exploration. Number eight, the pressure. One reason why it's so hard to get to the bottom of the sea is that the deeper you go, the more intense the pressure is. There's more and more air above you. Now, the more air there is, the heavier it is, the more presses down on you, and that increases the air pressure. This is because of the crushing weight of all the water above you, which only increases the further down you are. We've conquered obstacles like the lack of air with submarines and diving equipment, but it's much harder to limit the amount of pressure placed on even the best submersibles, which is why much of deep sea exploration is done by cameras and robots. Water is 800 times heavier than air. A mere 32 feet of seawater weighs as much as our entire atmosphere. Every 33 feet you descend, you add one entire atmosphere of pressure. At Challenger Deep in the Mariana Trench, the pressure is more than 1,500 pounds per square inch. Life support, good. Depth, one, zero, nine, or two, eight meters. At bottom. Number seven, dangerous jellyfish. Wow. Oh, this is beautiful. It's hard to believe we have a typhoon a thousand feet above our heads. These brainless organisms come in all shapes and sizes, and many of them won't hurt you at all. But if you can't tell them apart, it's always better to err on the side of caution and stay away. While you may find the deadly and distinct Portuguese man-o-war near the surface, it's not a single organism like most other jellyfish. Each is armed with many thousands of stinging cells. A single tentacle could kill a fish, or in rare cases, a human. It's dangerous, of course, but you should also be wary of the most venomous jellyfish out there, the box jellyfish, since it can swim as opposed to most others that just float. But many box jellyfish aren't venomous either, which makes them even more dangerous since it's unlikely that anyone who isn't a professional will be able to tell a harmless one from a killer. That size animal's probably got seven to eight tentacles on each corner of the belt. You only need six to seven feet long in an adult to kill somebody, that animal has potential to kill 50 people in under two minutes. Number six, the creation of storms. It picks up moisture and heat and with them speed. As its winds reach 39 miles per hour, it becomes a tropical storm and is given a name, Katrina. Many of the deadliest storms in the world, including hurricanes and cyclones, form over the oceans. 
In fact, a storm is only called a hurricane if it forms over a tropical ocean basin. The storm rapidly gathers strength and develops into a hurricane, feeding off the warm, moist air coming from the ocean. It's the warm ocean waters in the tropics evaporating that creates these storms. And it's the reason tropical storms can't sustain themselves when they make landfall. One of the deadliest storms in history was Typhoon Haiyan that struck Southeast Asia, primarily the Philippines, in 2013, causing over 6,300 deaths in just that country. And then a torrent of black water began pouring into the hotel. The storm surge had begun. And the hurricane with the highest recorded wind speed was Hurricane Patricia, which struck Mexico in 2015 with wind speeds of 215 miles per hour. Number five, White Shark Cafe. All this action attracts even larger predators. Sharks. Hundreds of sharks. This is a great place to go if you want to grab a quick bite to eat. If you're a shark, that is. Fewer than 300 white sharks swim to California from two mysterious offshore habitats. The water surrounding Hawaii and an unexplored wilderness, the subtropical gyre nicknamed the White Shark Cafe. If you're a human, you'll want to stay far away from this spot in the Pacific Ocean, where great white sharks frequently gather. Luckily, it's in the middle of nowhere, located between Baja California and Hawaii, so you probably won't come across it by mistake. The cafe was only discovered by tracking tagged sharks, and for a long time, the reason was mysterious. Some thought the sharks were going there to mate, but young sharks are raised much closer to the coast. The best explanation is they're going there to feed, so it really is like a restaurant. A cafe is somewhere where you might go to get a bite to eat, but it's also somewhere you might go to meet someone special. And since we think they're either eating or mating, we kept it a little bit ambiguous. Number four, the absence of sunlight. The speed of light through a vacuum is over 186,000 miles per second, but through deep waters, this slows down significantly. After a certain point, around 656 feet, light is simply unable to penetrate the water. This means that the vast majority of the ocean is in complete darkness, the so-called midnight or aphotic zone. Take short, shallow breaths. It's gonna be all right, I got you. This is one more barrier to exploring the sea, but it's not an obstacle for the creatures designed to live down there. Some animals have bioluminescence. These lights are created by animals. This is bioluminescence. A deep sea anglerfish flashes in the darkness. But for others, it's the eyes. The reason fish have such large eyes relative to their body size is to see through this gloom, which is why many deep sea creatures haven't evolved to be blind. In fact, the giant and colossal squids have the biggest eyes in the animal kingdom. They communicate with each other by flashing messages with their skin. The messages are received with eyes the size of billiard balls. Number three, humongous monsters. The ocean has always been home to enormous creatures, able to grow to huge sizes because they have such vast habitats to roam. After all, the largest creature on Earth today is the blue whale, and luckily they're gentle giants. As long as about three school buses and as heavy as 15, blue whales even outsize the dinosaurs. But the deep ocean has historically given way to many myths and legends about enormous sea monsters, from sea serpents to krakens, and there may be some truth to these tales. We've found fossils of giant marine creatures like megalodons and mosasaurs, while living creatures like the ghastly frilled shark may be responsible for serpent sightings. The frilled shark is one of the most bizarre looking creatures on the planet. It really does look like an alien. It's possible some of the myths and legends of sea serpents came from the frilled shark. And there's no telling what other huge monsters might be hiding in the unexplored deep. Number two, giant squid. One of the most elusive creatures roaming the oceans today is the giant squid, which is so mysterious that it was never photographed alive until as recently as 2002. Specimens have been reported weighing close to 1,000 pounds. The giant squid is not as heavy, weighing in at around 600 pounds, but they do have far longer arms and even longer feeding tentacles. Before this, we only knew they existed from specimens washed up on shore, sightings at sea, or from other animals' stomachs. 
even in the 21st century, very few video of giant squids in their natural habitats exist, due to the fact that they're thought to live very deep beneath the ocean surface. Then, on the 87th photo, making its film debut. Oh! Stop. 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 The elusive giant. And because they're so difficult to study, we don't actually know the maximum size a giant squid can grow to. Though the biggest squid recorded by scientists was over 42 feet long. People are very interested in this kind of thing, and we need to make people more aware of just how many incredible things there are in our ocean. <laughs> and you thought Jaws was scary. Now I really never want to go back in the water. But guess what? There's an even scarier underwater fact, and it will be coming for you right after these spooky honorable mentions. Mountains. There's a massive mountain range at the bottom of the Atlantic. At its heart is a central crevasse, a rift between plates of the Earth's crust. As these plates move apart, they expose the fiery heart of the planet. Bloop. This strange sound recorded in 1997 has stumped scientists for years. Was it really an ice quake or a sea monster? black holes. These whirlpools, or eddies, are deadly and closer to those of outer space than you might think. The Great Barrier Reef. It's the largest living structure on the planet and can be seen from space. The Great Blue Hole of Belize. You should steer clear of these bottomless sinkholes. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Dead Bodies Humans have been sailing the seas for thousands of years, and in that time we've generated an estimated 3 million shipwrecks. Many of these wrecks belong to ships that have disappeared, and most will have had crew aboard. We believe that more than 800 soldiers and sailors actually followed Mars when she sank down to her grave. So there is quite a few human remains down there, making the wreck site even more eerie to dive. This means that when you're swimming in the ocean, you are undoubtedly surrounded by human remains. A fork. A bowl. A shoe. Traces of life on board, before the attack. Creepier still, you probably won't even know. Less than 1% of these wrecks have been explored, and others are completely undiscovered. Even if you go out of your way to try to avoid these skeleton crews, you're probably never too far from some bones. I should have worn a belt! agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here. Just to see. 